was lucky enough to know Jerry MacDonald was involved in the film from the start, and it's um, it's a, it's my first experience of something this big, which is fantastic, you know. But Robbie Ryan he was the DP on the reconstruction shoot, and he did an amazing, amazing job. And, and uh, it's, it's yeah, it's a bit surreal, you know, but it's fantastic. And you know, it's it's always an interesting subject, like how do people get into this? I mean, what drew me into this story? initially was a statistic of that for every four people who've ever stood on the top of K2, one has died trying and that's a pretty, you know, that to me seemed like a peculiar form of insanity and I just wanted to explore possibly why people went there and I think that's, that's what draws people in. I really was interested not so much in a horror movie um, in this case, but in, um, in a story about female friendship and the kind of craziness of, of being a teenage girl when everything is just so heightened and everything matters so much and the emotions are so in wild. Oh, I think film uh, festivals are, are crucially important because with a smaller film, an independent film, you, you can't have a big advertising budget. Something has to start it off and festivals are perfect for that. And people write in and people, the people who come to festivals are film fans and you know they, they're, they're enthused and they argue about films and it's great. I'm not even guessing because every year I get it really wrong. So I've been listening to all the guesses. I'm thinking the Danny Boyle movie might, might be it. I've said only God forgives just because it's out within like next month. So. We got Welcome to the Punch, the new film by Aaron Creevy, who is the director of Shifty. Uh, I had a couple of guesses going, but they were way off the mark. I was thinking maybe Identity Thief or Trance, which I was really hoping for, but this was a really good surprise. The last day has been extraordinary. We've had full houses all night in the Savoy. It's been incredible. We've had screenings in Lighthouse and also in Cine World, and it's just been a really fantastic wrap up to the end of a very magical 11 days. <laughs> It's taken 11 years to get it to this scale and uh, I think it, it's, 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 a, it's a hard slog every year to keep it at this level and to, I think the biggest challenge at the moment is to increase its international profile and I think Gronje's presence at all the international festivals and, and the way she honours uh, international filmmakers has been enormous um, uh, bolstering up of the uh, prestige of the festival internationally. So I think it's becoming more and more a really, really important event on the international festival calendar. And even talking to friends and people who are not in, you know, involved in the arts but yeah. just love movies and love going to films, people are just talking about how, um, how buzzy and how kind of excited people are about the festival. This is a big human rights based film and we need to get this message out so the more festivals we can get the better so this is the beginning of a long journey. Uh, you enjoy the film and that it resonates with you. Thank you.